to load in planes this is Victoria and I'm here with your daily energy check let's do a reading right away this is going to be a classic and as always I'm going to start with an oracle deck today is going to be the cosmic tarot oracle let's get a card for Dia and then for Dia then we'll check the energies of each of the twins and the connection at this time and then finally we'll get some guidance from the angel therapy deck let me just get this out a little bit closer here yes that should be better okay please don't forget to like share subscribe and comment and i love you all i'm still experimenting what is my location for my readings um i'll probably do more in my room during the work week and then over the weekend i'll practice with some fun location we'll see how it goes we'll play it by air okay so for the feminines we have you are at the divine y point quite funny because why you usually associated with the y chromosome which is the masculine one right so to me this is as a reader i'm specifically feeling that divine feminines are now uh asked to tap into their masculine energy to their why subconscious chromosome <laughs> doesn't have one but you know the potential is there because if you have x it already includes y okay so this is the part where you're supposed to question where you're supposed to explore where you're supposed to be in control and in charge this is not the part to wait. This is the part to be very conscious about the decision of where you're going next. And we're gonna get some more information about it in a minute. So let's see what we have. And that's the, that's number 33, by the way. So that means that you already have a blueprint of your path, of where you're going, and you're headed there full on confidently. Let's see what we have for Divine Masculines at this time. Number 26, the universe wants to co conspire with you. Yeah, so for Divine Masculine, it's about actually quite a synchronous energy, a synchronous energy, uh, meaning that it's time to, to take a leap, to go for it, and to show the universe that you mean business, that you're serious about what you want to achieve and how you want to achieve it. It's not just about, okay, I'm going to sleep on it. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to talk to a few people. This is like, okay, time to go. All right. And it's number 26 that's come down to eight, which is again about taking action. Okay. Let's see what we have for the energies right now. that was pretty strong there we go the magician yeah making things happen i was hearing this word intentional movement intentional action 33 is number six which to me is also about stepping out externally intentionally can we get anything else here oh look at that for once is here yeah so that builds a strong foundation for whatever structure you want to build whether it's with your dm whether it's in your business or whatever else whoever else you're building that partnership because it could be a soulmate right it doesn't matter whatever that important partnership is for you that's how you do it you don't wait for the person to do the homework and bring it to you on a plate and you don't you're not supposed to um just be a silent partner you're supposed to be a very loud partner that's what i'm hearing for you okay let's get something for dms right now we get five of ones anything else Ooh. and the fool Yeah, 
Yeah, so here I basically see the opposite energies. It's kind of like the DMs have a choice, right? The fool is about taking a leap of faith and knowing that uh, the universe will co conspire with you, right? It's not necessarily knowing who, when, what, the detail, right? But if you are looking for that, if you're tied to that, if you want to control it too much, then that's gonna screw up the plan. It's gonna cause conflict, that's gonna cause delays. Not necessarily that it's not gonna happen, but it's gonna take a lot longer and will be so much harder. Okay, an energy of the connection. Okay, we got eight of swords in reverse, that's good. Uh, six of cups and eight of wands. Yeah, so the communication is flowing. It's mostly telepathic at this point, but there is no blockage to it. It's like, when I say blockage, I mean there is no misinterpretation. If it's silence, it doesn't mean the other person uh, doesn't want to talk to me or they don't love me. If, it's, if, they, if they say they got to be somewhere else, if they make someone else a priority, it doesn't mean that things are looking badly or I'm so far away from the union. No, this is the twins knowing that things are changing and there is a divine plan behind it, right? Like that's the whole point here with the Six of Cups, like remembering, knowing that this is internal, this is bigger than this lifetime. So there's no point in being worried and being stuck in your head about it. Right, just let the communication flow, whatever comes in naturally. Okay, and finally, so this will be a quick reading. Finally, we'll get a guidance, a card of guidance from the Angel Therapy deck. First for Divine Feminine and then for Divine Masculine watching. Two cards. First one is Mediumship. the nature of ability to connect with departed loved ones. This could be your departed loved ones or those of the people that you work with. If your clients have some questions, some unresolved issues that they need help with, this could be that link that you can provide. The other one is you are profoundly clairvoyant. Trust what you see in your mind's eye as well as with your physical sight. So your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. Listen to that again. Your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. So it helps you, and that again means helping yourself and helping others. Wow, this is beautiful. What do we have for the masculines right now? And that's actually the advice, right? Because this is a, this was the card of advice. So through con creating this mediumship, through engaging your clairvoyant abilities, you will get the answers. Okay, so for the masculines, we have heal away addictions. It's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from the heart's desire. Ask Archangel Raphael to help you with this healing. So also the time of healing, this is more about the, any kind of um, toxic patterns could be, but habits, addictions, things alike. And uh, if you work with Archangels, Archangel Raphael is your person for this kind of healing from any kind of toxicity, any kind of the devil energy flavor, whatever it could be. And it's blocking from your heart's desire. Right, and that's an important part. Look at the colors, actually. That's an important part of the manifestation process. Because if you don't really know what your heart's desire is, it will be really hard to manifest it into your life. Okay, I think I'm gonna end it here. This was a quick reading today. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being with me. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow.